Hey friends, welcome back to Hey Mishka. If you watched my April vlog, you probably won't be surprised that I'm starting this one in the yard. In early May, our space was finally looking lush and started to turn into this tiny little oasis I've been hoping for. Anyway, this month in general was pretty mellow. Much like April, I spent a lot of time in the yard reading and relaxing. Anxiety is in no short supply these days, so fresh air and reading kind of helps me just chill out in the middle of the day when, you know, stressful thoughts creep in. I sat down to sort out my newly acquired beads so I could start making bracelets with them. This was a bit of a silly, tedious process, but honestly, I found it very therapeutic. I love sorting craft supplies. And it kind of reminded me that during fashion school, I had an internship. One of my tasks was sorting piles of buttons in the design room. And you might think that sounds like a punishment, but I actually loved it. When I saw these beads in the store, these silly little beads that I'm sure were meant for kids, I had clear visions of, you know, making these fun candy colored bracelets. Buying these beads and making these bracelets in May helped me tap into this peaceful sense of just centeredness and calm that I've been missing for a while and also I guess I feel most like myself when I'm making things. And I also wonder why, as adults, we're not encouraged to do these silly kids projects more often and just to tap into this simple kind of joy. I think when we're adults, we need those blissful little projects and experiments more than ever. Anyway, I'm going to ramble about that in a separate video, so look out for it if that interests you. Starting May off on a creative note just sort of set the mood for the whole month. And as always, I kicked off the month with the intention of being more organized and getting more done than last month. get out of the house these days to return things at the post office or buy plants. I'm slowly trying to return to some semblance of real life. But to be honest, I don't feel mentally ready to like go out and do things. I don't feel like I did at this time last year where restrictions were slowly easing up and I feel like we were breaking out of our first quarantine phase. I felt so ready to like go out and see friends and be social. But after this past winter, I really don't feel ready and I don't feel motivated to like go out. We are having some friends over occasionally. I guess I'm just giving myself time to get there. So I started beading a few bracelets to test out some ideas. And as I mentioned, I quickly fell in love with this process of just stringing these colorful pieces onto the elastic. And this will be a recurring theme for me in this vlog. Pretty much every other day I sat down at my table and made a couple more bracelets. I also bought some gold hardware and gold beads off of Amazon to add to the mix of these plastic beads. I guess to try to give them a luxurious feel or like class them up a little bit. I thought it looked really nice and I thought the designs really started coming together.
My parents took a trip to see us and brought my sewing supplies from the Hudson Valley. Now since fashion school, I've had various attempts to sew little collections or grow little independent brands on Etsy, but even without a focused goal, I just really love sewing. I love making clothes. I love all kinds of DIY, but sewing and fashion was my first, I guess, really passionate love. So setting up my sewing room was just a cathartic experience. Even though it made my little studio more crowded because I had to add some extra shelving, I didn't care at all. I just felt like I, I finally felt like me kind of ties me to who I am, I guess. And my mother took the time to organize and label all of my supplies, even going as far as ironing out my fabrics and batching them together, which was just so sweet. I was so appreciative. So that was a great thing. It was in mid-May that the yard really started looking gorgeous. The grass came in, it was growing quickly everywhere. I was watering it every day, sometimes twice a day, raking up fallen leaves. It just really became, I guess, my passion project. I was just feeling so proud of how we transformed it from a little corner of junk, basically, into this, you know, just pretty little tiny yard. the shock flash <laughs> oh my god you're oh, recording oh, it. oh that's why it's on video it's on video <laughs> After making a ton of these beaded bracelets and receiving some interest on social media, I decided to put them in my Etsy shop. So I used cardboard boxes from our recycling bin, like tissue boxes and things, and cut out little cards to hold them, like jewelry cards. I thought they looked adorable in sets of three, and I printed off some sticker labels with my Hamishka logo, just on sticker paper basically, and cut them out myself. 
And this feeling of having a sporadic idea from that trip to the corner store in last month's vlog that turned into this little full-blown creative endeavor and a mini collection of bracelets just made me so happy to see it all come together. If you're a creative person, and I'm guessing you are if you're watching this, you know how good it feels to see an idea through from that moment that you first get the idea to how it all comes together visually in front of you when you're holding it in your hand. It's just very exciting. So three pretty crappy things happened in May, and this is the first one. We were reconnecting with some friends in the backyard one evening, and I slipped and twisted my ankle. I was descending the steep cement staircase that leads to the backyard, and it was dark enough where I didn't see a step and I just missed it. It was pretty bad, I could tell when I landed I had caused damage. I was sort of stuck for a few days, trying not to move around on it. But I tried to be chipper, I tried to, you know, do little things around the house. And a few days passed, I braved the stairs again to water the backyard. Which brings us to the second crappy thing that happened in May. I found out that in the short absence from the yard, something highly upsetting happened. The massive old tree above us, which provided not only shade, but gorgeous greenery that I've been obsessed with and showing you guys in my vlog for months, was hacked to pieces on one side. And the debris was left in a huge pile on our newly planted grass. It's not like this is some tragedy, but it just broke my heart to see. The yard had been my passion project, I'd put so much love into it, I've been vlogging about it and talking about it nonstop. Whoever did this, of course, doesn't know how personally it would hurt me. I'm guessing it was someone contracted by the city, by a building inspector, due to some safety issue, as is sometimes the case with big old trees. They also cut and killed off my wisteria vine, my favorite feature in the whole yard. I don't know if I even have the words for how frustrating that little discovery was. I believe we are about to have our first summer storm. I mean, it's not summer, it's May, but it has been like 80 degrees and, you know, of course, ridiculously warm for a couple of days. Today, a little bit cooler, but it seems like we're gonna get just a big old thunderstorm with high winds and somebody's looking very serious about it. You guys know I love rain. We moved into this apartment during the rainy season last year and now the rainy season is here. So it's, we're coming up on the one year mark. <sighs> what is life?
May wrapped up on a pretty low key note. We started working on restoring the backyard back to its former glory, which wasn't going to be easy. But in the meantime, we kept our ritual of spending time out there anyway. And finally, the third crappy thing that happened in May. I test drove a pair of my bracelets and the gold beads tarnished almost instantly. Thank goodness I did that before trying to sell them, but I'll have to disassemble them all and redo them. For hanging out with me this month. Remember to hit like and subscribe if you like my vlogs and drop a comment to say hi. I love hearing from you guys. Stay safe and I'll see you guys in the next video.